All right, welcome back, Cheap Beats Garage. Today, we're gonna do a wheel run cold start 1970 Ford F100. She got a 390 FE in it. It hasn't been started for, I don't know, several years. I would say three to four when I went around and started like that Mercury, LTD, International, and some of the other ones. But I say, like I say, it's been three, four years ago since all that's been done. So here you go, we'd make a video of it and see if it'll run. So you can give her the old tour here. This one here is the Ranger XLT. So she was the, the high end model, high falutin. Actually, the old girl ain't too bad shape, as far as body wise. Anyway, most of these are so rotted out. This one's got just a little bit in the front fender up here. I think, yeah, we got a cab mount that's just starting to get a little rust down there, but that kind of seems to be the norm. You know, interiors there. Missing the radio. It was when I got it. I bought this pickup in 2003, I think it was. So, I've had it for 21 years, I guess, this year. I ran it, drove it. Had a pretty bad rear main seal leak. Had an axle bearing that was making noise. And I need front end parts because they were loose. So it ended up getting parked, figuring that I would take and get some parts for it and get it going again. But that's uh, been a while. And always something else seems to take precedence over everything else. I figure one day maybe I can get something done with it though. And it does have all the poverty caps on it, which is kind of neat. A piece of chrome, I believe, is in the back of it. A little grill is missing a few little slats in it, but it's mostly there. So I'll bore you done. <laughs> I'm done boring you guys of a bunch of trivial stuff you guys want to see startage not me standing around talking so here we go with it we'll put some gas in the carb i can't get the key to crank it from the inside so i'm gonna have to jump the solenoid but we'll have mr assistant turn the key on for me and we'll see what happens with it Yes, and carb. All right, here we go. First start in three or four years, I hope. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sounds like she wants to run. Fill the bowl up and see what happens with her. Here we go again. Key on? Of course, I fluttered out. 
trying to fill the bowl up right in there. Alright, let's try it again. <laughs> You don't run bad. Ain't even smoking a lot. Didn't even have any mouse nest come out of it. What a deal! You get a little throttle? Do it again. Yeah, none of these carburetors, etc. pumps don't work on them, so. Got a little lifter noise, but. Or an exhaust tick. You can see in here. See what the oil pressure looks like. The yeah, oil pressure is out in the middle from what I can see. The gauges are all hazy. I'm guessing the old engine probably kind of wore out, but I was always going to take and stick another engine in it, but I've yet to do that, obviously. The whole thing sure does run good though. And she's not even taking blowing any smoke either. All these old pickups and cars, they end up with a whole bunch of stuff in the back of them. Because it's like everybody else. They use it for storage units, some more so than others. Considering it's been 21 years since this thing's been actually driven, it did run pretty nice. I say it had a rear main seal leak that took a quart of oil on about 100 miles though. That was the main reason of not doing anything else with it. So, anyway. That was a really easy wheel at run. Give it a little throttle. Just slowly push this gas. More. Well. I suppose. So, I guess if you guys like content like this, of watching me start up old derelict garbage and so on, playing with just junk in general, you might want to consider subscribing to the channel. Comment, share, like, what have you. So, we got more coming down the pike, so I'm going to leave it at that. So, as always, 
thanks for watching and till next one bye